Sony has made two different PlayStation handheld consoles that were relatively successful. The PSP sold about 80 million units, which is actually really, really good. The PS Vita only sold about like 14 to 15 million, so it was kind of a flop, but the Vita is it's an awesome console. I, I think it's superior. But Sony's trying to step back into the handheld gaming market, and I honestly think it's going to be a pretty big success. So I'm pretty sure everyone already knows this, but the handheld console that they're releasing soon is the PlayStation Portal. I think it was announced as like the Project Q or something like that. It's not really a portable console console I think it should be referred to as like a handheld console because it streams your games directly from the PS5 rather than playing games natively directly on the device which is kind of weird and I'm a little bit iffy on that too but I have reasons as to why I think it's actually gonna work out well for Sony and PlayStation and why I think a lot of people are actually gonna truly enjoy this product so it basically looks like a PS5 controller with a screen in the middle it actually looks really cool I'm a fan of the design I, at first I was like this is a little weird but the design grew on me and I think it's pretty neat. So the idea is kind of similar to the Wii U in a sense that like if somebody is using the TV that the PS5 is plugged into and you can't use that TV, you know, like your dad has like all his friends over watching football or something and you want to play your PlayStation, well that's perfect if you have the portal because you can pick up the portal, play your games that are on your PS5 directly on the portal. There are good videos out there to watch. I'm not going to play somebody's entire video, but I'll put in some clips because I don't want to get, you know, copyright striked and everything like that. But the console actually is really responsive and people are saying that the screen looks great and they forget that they're actually streaming a game because if you don't know already, streaming games is usually pretty bad. Like it's usually really laggy and it's just, it's just not a fun experience. And I know like this may sound iffy that you stream your games from the console rather than having it like downloaded, like on the PS Vita, you have all your games download you could play them online or offline it doesn't matter anywhere so the the downside is like you probably aren't going to be able to play anything if you're on the plane or on a car ride without wi-fi i think you might be actually able to stream if you have wi-fi let's say if you're in montana and you you live in like utah or something i think if you have a strong connection to wi-fi you might be able to stream your games from it I'm not 100 percent sure on that but i'm pretty sure i saw that in a video but I might be wrong on that, but I would imagine you would be able to because you can stream like your Xbox from another state. It's it's pretty laggy, but you could do it. Yeah, but imagine how many people run into this problem where they can't use the TV and they can't play their games because somebody's using the TV. This happens in big families a lot and even like parents. Like I've seen a video about a dad that thinks it's going to be a great console because he can never use a TV and... Why not buy the PlayStation Portal if it's an accessory that's out there and it's relatively cheap? The, one of the main reasons why I think it's going to be successful is because of the price point. It's $200, which I know does sound like a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But in today's world, I feel like that's really not bad. And I feel like the technology behind this is pretty advanced for what it is. I mean, I, I definitely would prefer to play games natively and be able to stream, but maybe there's a reason why. Maybe the price would have been a lot higher if you could do that. So I don't know. I feel like Sony's kind of onto something. They're kind of testing out the waters. I'm actually not sure if you were able to download anything directly to the console. I would imagine you would be able to at least download a f like some games. Like I, I can't imagine it being a console where you could only stream everything. It's just essentially a device to expand the reach of the PS5 and it does kind of suck that it's not like the typical handheld that you could play anywhere, but I still feel like a lot of people are really going to enjoy it. And like with these videos, the console looks great, it's extremely responsive, and it, the screen actually looks pretty good. I think it's a 1080p 60fps, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And the PS5 is insanely successful. They've already sold about 50-ish million units, or I think they're expected to hit that by the end of the year. So they sold a lot of PS5s. And if a quarter of the people buy this console, that's that's a lot of sales. It's exclusive to the PS5, which you would think would kind of kill it, but I feel like that kind of also gives it the desirability factor. Like people are gonna want this if they have a PS5 because no one else can get it. You can only get it if you have a PS5. Or at least you can only use it if you have a PS5. You know, you could buy it if you have like a PS4, but you won't be able to really do anything with it. And the console isn't released yet. Like they've just been letting people test out the console like within this week. So I feel like there's still a lot of things to come with this console. I'm pretty sure that some of the videos that I watched, the people said like they weren't able to go to like the home interface. Like they could only just play games. So I feel like they're still testing things out and they're still adding new things to the console. You know, I definitely would love a new Sony console that you could play the games natively, like directly on the device. But honestly, I think the price point is really fair on this. And I feel like it's gonna be a pretty big success. I don't think it's gonna go 
sell as many units as the PSP. I don't think it's going to sell 80 million units. Like, that's insane. I'm going to guess it's probably going to sell similarly to the PS Vita, which might sound like a flop. But the thing is, I think Sony is aware of this. And I think that Sony knows that this is not a console for every single person out there. I think that they're going to dominate the market that they're trying to reach, which is people that are at home that can't use their TV, which may sound like a small percentage of people, which it probably is compared to like the grand gaming market. But I feel like it's going to be a pretty cool console. They give it this way too. Millions of people have a Nintendo Switch, right? It's like one of the most successful handheld consoles ever. So many people play that game handheld only in their house or they have the Switch Lite where it's that's that's only handheld. You can't dock it. And they play that handheld mode in their house and they don't they don't go anywhere with it. They don't travel with it. Like personally, I only travel with my Switch if I'm on like a vacation. But if I'm playing in the house, I do play it in docked mode, right? But I also play in handheld mode pretty frequently, you know? And I don't have a problem with it because it's a fun console to play. So if you think of it in that sense of like, you're just chilling in your house most of the time with your handheld console, you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. Like handheld gaming isn't the exact same as it used to be with like the DS era because the DS, the, like the DS era and like Game Boy era, like those were extremely portable consoles. Like they, those just like fit in your back pocket, right? The Switch doesn't fit in your pocket. So it's not really easy to travel and take that to like a restaurant or something to play. Now that, not saying that you should play your Switch at a restaurant, just using that as an example. But I feel like a lot of people are gonna find this console to be really useful. And I think Sony has a specific market for this. And because of the cost, honestly though, I do think the PSP and PS Vita are always gonna be superior to the Portal, unless the Portal just has some massive feature that they haven't announced yet. But I just don't think that the Portal is gonna be a flop. And I'm trying to look at this with the best possible most positive viewpoint, if that makes any sense. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.